We don't ask you to sacrifice goats or virgins, but in the boating world, you may want to sacrifice your anodes. Stick around to find out more. Hey, this is Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating, and anodes are what protect your boat engine while it's in the water. And what is an anode? An anode is a piece of metal that is attached to your lower unit, whether it's an inboard outboard, an outboard engine, or even on an inboard engine, sometimes on the shafts. And it's designed to be more chemically active than the material in your engine lower unit or your components under the water. And essentially what happens is in water, you get what's called galvanic corrosion. And galvanic corrosion is a chemical process where ions move from one metal to another in a solution that is electrically active. So in salt water, it's very electrically active because you've got the salt making a chemical mixture in the water that allows for more free transfer of neutrons between the metals. And what happens is when that's going on, you get pitting or degradation, corrosion on your lower unit or your metal components under the water. So what happens with an anode is that it's designed to be slightly more chemically active than the engine components and they will slowly over time or quickly degrade and you'll see little pock marks or divots on the anode surface. The anodes have three different types of material. They're either zinc, which is the least chemically active, aluminum, which is middle, or magnesium, which is highly chemically active. So traditionally speaking, in saltwater environments, you would have zinc anodes because they would last long enough to protect the engine. In freshwater environment, you would have magnesium anodes because it's less chemically active, so you need something that is going to do something versus just sit there and not degrade. And then usually aluminum is in the middle. So often engine manufacturers will ship your engine with aluminum because they're not sure if it's going to saltwater or a freshwater environment. So most marine dealerships will say on average, an anode will last three to five years. Although I've seen them in super highly active water to go in a matter of days, weeks, or months and I have seen anodes that can last in really clean water for 10 years or more. You should inspect them every time you see the boat out of the water and just take a look and see if they need to be replaced. When you're looking at your anodes, you'll see that they start to look like they have a rough surface. And the rule of thumb is that any time the surface looks like 50% of the material is gone or more, they're absolutely ready to replace. No one wants to have their lower unit rust off or any of the components fail. And the anode is your protection against that. So if you don't replace your anodes or don't have them at all, you'll find that your lower unit gets much more corrosion and can fail under extreme circumstances. So while you're looking at your lower unit, if you're seeing damage on it, check out this video here on lower unit and prop damage to see if you need to repair it. Thanks for joining us on today's Lenscove Lessons in Boating, and we'll see you out on the water.